Hello and welcome to this tutorial to demonstrate uh, some of the new stuff with uh, some of the new stuff with uh, cinematic gameplay tool uh, version 1.2. Actually, this version doesn't introduce lots of features, but it's uh, mostly bug fixing and improvement in the performance. Uh, but actually, it started support the 2D colliders or 2D collision system or physics 2D physics box 2D. Uh, so basically, because someone was asking about if the tool can work with uh, 2D games, actually it was working with 2D games before, and it was working with uh, changing the the field of view. But it was not supporting the orthographic size, and it was not supporting the 2D colliders. Previously, before Unity supports the the box 2D physics, uh, all the 2D games made with Unity was using the normal 3D colliders, the normal NVIDIA physics. But now, uh, while everyone trying to use to optimize their games, their 2D games, they are using uh, the, two, the box 2D uh, system, and it makes perfect sense. So I decided to implement this inside the. the the cinematic gameplay tool. So as you can see here, this is an empty project with the cinematic gameplay tool imported. So I'm just going now to let's get from the asset store one of the 2D uh, samples that Unity has. And actually, I like one of them, which is uh, the 2D Rouge-like game, and it's it's nice to to use. So. Uh, let me grab it quickly here from my asset store. Just waiting it to load. And yeah, from the library, and let's download. Ah, oh, sorry, import. Import everything, all and import. Kaboom. Yeah. So as you can as you can see here, there is uh, a completed and there are scenes and main. Actually, this project is procedurally generated, so this level has no has nothing. So every time you play this level, it's regenerate a different level or a different day. Uh, so I'll be working with this. So first thing first, let's uh, look at the camera. As you can see here, the camera has an uh, orthographic. It's orthographic camera with a size of five. So I'm going to duplicate the camera and make a parent group to make uh, to make it like any other thing with cinematic gameplay tool. The camera should be in zero position, and anything else, any follow script or anything else should be in a parent. So I, I make a parent group and put the camera underneath it and remove anything that is not necessary to be used with the camera. And yeah, this loader is related to the game. So let's open the window, cinematic gameplay window, and let's dock it. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, here. And let's select the camera and let's add the prepare camera to add some scripts for the camera. Let's insert a, uh, a trigger. As you can see, my trigger here is using a box collider, which is a 3D collider. So I can to remove this as it's 2D game, everything is 2D, and let's add the box 2D, box collider 2D, yeah. And let's move it up, keep everything organized, and let's come here and make it as trigger. Don't forget this, it's very important. And come to the camera, as you can see, the camera also graphic size is 5, there's also graphic and perspective, and also graphic size is 5, so I come here and say, okay, when you hit this trigger, let's change this value to mm, 3, 3 is fine. So. We have now the camera, we have the cinematic trigger, so let's just position this cinematic trigger, adjust it, make it big, large, or whatever you want, put it somewhere, you can add to a gizmo so I can see everything right while playing, and now let's set one activation entity, which is basically my player. So let's drag and drop the player in here, and because as you can see the player itself has a box collider 2D, which means 2D physics, so I enable is 2d now if i hit play let's let's just position this somewhere i can i can reach easily and let's duplicate this one and put another one here and change the value from three something mm, let's say higher than five let's say seven is good and yeah let's play so what i hit here zoom in changing from five to three and then uh, let's close the gizmos when i hit exit now it goes from 3 to 5 again, and now when I hit the other one, it goes from 5 to 7. 
So as you can see, it's still using all the old things on the cinematic trigger, when which which is basically can use once, can exit to normal, can um, after uh, can exit after duration or whatever. So it used all the other features, but now it has the support for 2D colliders and it has a, su a full support for FOV which is field of view and if you are using an orthographic camera it's called orthographic size but yeah it's basically the same thing with two names for two different camera types so i hope you enjoyed and looking forward to see what you're going to make thank you bye